Hi friends, how are ya? Welcome back to my channel for another house vlog. <laughs> I've told y'all that it's gonna be a lot of vlogs lately because we're doing so much around here. I wanna film it and document it. And then I also in the middle of jury duty all month. So I'm basically just vlogging every day off <laughs> as a video. And that's my plan of how to stay on top of work. So I hope that's okay. I am so excited for today. We have a lot of outdoor things going on. I have a delivery of like 10 foot ficus trees coming. I only got four because nobody told me how expensive outdoor plants are so they're a hundred dollars a piece so we're starting with four to see how we like it and I'll explain more about that later but that's coming this morning we also got grass seed that I want to try to figure out what to do with and I want to go shopping for a couple things I'm gonna take you along on that and we might even have a date night tonight it's gonna be a great vlog and I can't wait for you to come I just woke up an hour and a half ago it's 8 30 and I have been in my cozy little corner having this little chase in my office has been a game changer I've been using it way more than my desk I edit here I have a big comforter here we learned that our house okay if you don't know this our house was built in 1906 so we learned that these houses from like this era don't have insulation they have basically like wood planks that go this way and have like, not clay, but they're covered with like a clay looking material and that's the form of insulation. There's no real insulation. So every morning it has been freezing. So I've loved having this comforter in here. I'm really nervous for how hot it might be in summer. We'll see. But I am going to shower and get a little bit ready. And then I'll explain a little bit more as to um, how today's gonna look. Can't wait. Showered, put on the comfiest clothes I have, which is my Lulu lion top and a lion leggings and my cloud wrap from Cosbox. If we have a date night tonight, I will dress slightly differently, but in case we don't, just want to be as comfortable as possible today. And I'm going to set you up. We are going to do a little makeup transition. Ready, set. <laughs> what do you think? I haven't washed or styled my hair in so long. I just, there's no time. There's too much to do. So it is 9 30. Trees are being delivered anywhere between 10 and 12. I'm gonna go probably open the gate to get ready for them because they said they could just dolly them to where we want them. I'll show you where they're gonna go and, and what we're gonna do. I, I feel so cozy. I told Brooke this is basically all I want for my birthday. <laughs> Again, this year is more of these leggings because we literally got our clothes like washed at a, at a fluff and fold just because I was missing these. We probably could have made it another couple days before we had to go drop off our laundry, but I wanted these back. <laughs> They're so comfy. Okay, we just opened up the gate for whenever the trees get here so they can come just dolly them to the back, but... <laughs> I'm probably gonna get so many comments about how wrong I'm gonna do this and trust me, I know. So I got this bag of grass seed. It's the heat tolerant because we do have a couple weeks in the summer here that get like well above 100. So I got this type, made sure it's good for our region per se. And what you're supposed to do is lay down soil, use one of those like grass seed spreaders, rake it, and then water it every day for a couple weeks. And we're not gonna do that. We we just want the dirt kind of covered so Max can just like run out there. So this is more of a test than anything. I got one bag, which is good for like 600 square feet of new grass or like 1600 square feet of like trying to fill in grass. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a little, like a little test strip of our yard, just the closest to the concrete. Um, and I got a really long lead leash for Max to where he can like basically run across where all the grass will be without getting into the back dangerous messy part, if that makes sense. So I'm just gonna literally go throw this down by hand and then Brooke's gonna water it and we're gonna see what happens. I know you're supposed to rake it to help the birds not get it and all this stuff, but let's, our ring, because Brooke's moving the hose, but let's be honest, um, we're not, we're not gonna do it correctly. Just admitting that before I get comments. <laughs> oh wow, they're blue. I was not expecting that, I gotta say. Shoes. Yeah, you look like a ninja turtle. Maybe the birds will sing about your heart. Maybe the trees will whisper the word. Maybe the sun. 
I have one avocado. Oh, this might no longer be good. I'll have to cut into it. If it's no longer good, I'll pivot. I found this bread at Sprouts and it's by Little Northern Bakehouse and it is 100% plant-based, egg-free, gluten-free. So I am toasting some up right now and I'm so hungry. <laughs> are here so excited okay let's see how it goes maybe there is a star with your name one thing i know is that there should be there is no one who has a heart as pure no not like yours well i got <clears throat> one bite of my avocado toast before Brooke was like, I think your trees are here. And I was like, oh shoot, they are. I'll show you all them in a minute. You saw them being set up, but our neighbors are like right there right now. So I feel awkward vlogging. I also kind of feel awkward. I hope they don't think we're like trying to shut them out, but just trying to make both of our backyards more private. So we'll see. Okay, here's the plan. I couldn't decide if I wanted to run errands now or later because it's 11 and I have a meeting at one, but the trees got here quicker than expected. So the number one thing I want to go do, and I'm so sorry, I just realized that my vlogs have to come out out of order. So last Saturday, you will have seen me decorate our den and get all of our den furniture, but I'm prepping to get all that right now. And I really want to go get some coffee table books. I mentioned that in another vlog. The coffee table we got has like all these cool little cutouts for coffee table books. And I want to style that really cute. And I've just wanted more anyways. And it's totally an unnecessary thing, but it's something I want to do to treat myself my birthday month. I'm going to count it as a, a present to myself. And then if we have time, you know, when you move and you change your address, they send you a huge packet of coupons and most of them are super annoying. There's actually a crate and barrel one. So if we have time, we can go and see what they have. I might want to get one or two little like sculptural things to decorate our den for that video. So let's go. We have a little less than two hours to do this. I think we'll be fine. We might even have time for coffee. Who knows? So Pasadena has a Roman's bookstore. Actually, I used to live right behind this and I have only been here like once, um, but it's kind of our only larger bookstore and I would rather try to support a one, two location business than go find a Barnes and Noble. So I don't exactly know what they're gonna have in terms of coffee table books, but let's go check it out. Look out, here she comes. The woman that I love. It's too bad she'll never know. I can't tell her how I feel Because she has someone who makes her happy I'm a ghost in these walls Or at least I try to be It's crazy how much coffee table books can, like differ in price range. The first one I picked up was $160 and I was like, uh-uh, no, no, no. I kept in the $30 range for all of them and I got three. This one I thought Brooke would really like. It's called Escapology, Modern Cabins, Cottages, and Retreats. It just looks like it's full of pretty architectural pictures and like, ooh, some nature, which is awesome. And then I got a couple interior design. All of my books at home, I have one home book, which is the Kinfolk Home. My sister got it for me and I love it. And I was hoping to find more Kinfolk books, but I couldn't find any. But all of my other books are cookbooks and I wanted more home books. So this one is called The Inspired Home. And then y'all know Chip and Jojo are my favorite people. I want to be on the Magnolia Network one day, but I got Home Body by Joanna Gaines. This was the most expensive this was 40 but it's so pretty and i love to support her so let's go to crate and barrel we have time i shouldn't do much damage though it, i'm in that space where we've had to spend so much money on moving and furnishing and everything that i'm like at this point i feel numb to it let's just keep spending which is a very bad mental space to be in it's not a healthy mentality at all wow it is beautiful today look Look at those mountains over there. It is just stunning. Ooh, I kind of want to look into some pots and things to decorate our media console. So that's something to keep in mind. Wow, it is beautiful up here. I want all this. These chairs. 
Oh, I want these. I'm sure they're so expensive. I'm not even gonna look, but I love that. And some cool lights too. Oh my word. I feel like this isn't a normal storefront. It says it's a design studio, so don't exactly know how that works. Oh my gosh, it's just like the chairs, but it's a room divider. It's $600. It's definitely not worth it, but it's so cute. Look at the slats. Okay, these are really cool. So this is one thing that I really like, and I'll show you the other thing that I really like. I might get one of them. This kind of sculpture is really cool, and our table's white, so I want to do something that has like warmer tones to it. This is cool, and it's not outrageously priced. Oh, I'm so out of breath from like running across streets and then running up several flights of stairs. Oh, it's getting hot too. But, uh-oh, is this person noticing me? No, no, no. No, I'm not leaving. <laughs> thing I got at Crate and Barrel is this. I thought it'd be really fun. We have a taller scul sculpture for that table, and maybe I could put some like dried things in it. TBD. You will see me, or I guess you have seen me style this in the Din Furniture vlog, so that should be out by now. If you haven't seen it, get out. And then an exciting treat. One of my friends, shout out to Jackie, mailed me a blue bottle gift card and I got an iced oat matcha latte, the best matcha lattes in the world. Ever since getting her an espresso, I've been on a really bad habit of having like an espresso drink in the afternoon. I used to always do a coffee in the morning and then a matcha in the afternoon. And I need to get back on it because it's healthier for sure. Better for my acid reflux and it's so good. It's so good. It just takes a little more effort than just clicking a button on the espresso, but Mm. Okay, I'm gonna show you all the trees really quickly. I have a meeting in like 15 minutes, but I think our neighbors are no longer outside so I can show you. So here they are. They are very tall, but I think that we need a few more. And then obviously we're gonna need some pots for them. I might go ahead and get those fiberglass pots from the nursery because I think that they will probably be the cheapest option. I just gotta look into it a little bit more. Okay, I'm getting set up for my meeting. I've talked about this before, but I don't know how I was chosen for this. I'm very excited about it, but I was chosen to be part of a YouTube partnership program. They select some random creators and then you're paired with a partner, which is someone actually on staff at YouTube to go over your goals, your strategy, all this kind of stuff every month for your channel. And they were the ones who told me I might want to consider cutting back to three videos a week because um, A, I think people just look at my videos a little more special and don't really take them for granted as much. And then B, it helps the algorithm continue to push a video instead of like kind of stomping it out when you post another one the next day. I did make a coffee right after saying I need to stop making afternoon coffees, but gonna get set up for that. And then I wanna actually look up and see if Skillshare has any gardening classes, cause I had an idea about that, but I have to hop on this meeting and then I'll be back to chat a little. Okay, I just finished my meeting, my sweet YouTube rep spent like an hour and a half going through my goals with me. She was going through the numbers and they were all like in the negatives. I was like, oh no. <laughs> but as I mentioned, I had like two minutes before my meeting started and I was like, I wonder if Skillshare has any gardening classes because they are sponsoring this video. They have never sponsored a vlog before, so it's high Skillshare. You're sponsoring a vlog. I hope that's okay. I'm very excited about it. Um, and you guys know that I love Skillshare. I like to try to watch Skillshare classes when I'm getting ready in the morning. If you're not familiar with them, they are an online learning community and they have a really good variety of classes. If you're like me and you have a lot of home goals, but also business goals, personal goals, financial goals, there's a little bit of everything. There's hobbies, there's actual like business type classes. It's super cool. And I found, so one of their originals, they have some like house plant series. This is called Plants at Home, Uplift Your Spirit and Your Space. This is by Christopher Griffin, who's also known as Plant Queen. They look adorable, <laughs> such a cute human. Um, so that's exciting. But then I was also looking at gardening and there's easy gardening with raised beds. There's how to grow succulent garden. There's gardening to attract beneficial insects. Like you can deep dive. And I just wanna learn at least a little bit of gardening for this house. To, to know how to kind of, you know, properly plant grass in a yard, which I know I did very incorrectly early in this video. So I'm, I'm excited to go through a couple of those. And if you're interested, and if you wanna try out Skillshare, it normally costs less than $10 a month with an annual subscription, which in my mind, investing in learning is very worth it. But 
I do have a free trial for a limited time, a limited number of subscribers to so click the link down below. You can actually try out the premium subscription for free. So you can watch a handful of classes, see how you like it, and then decide if you want to go forward with a subscription or not. So thank you to Skillshare for sponsoring this vlog. How exciting. We've been working together for like three years and this is the first vlog. Because all my videos are vlogs right now, let's be honest. <sighs> I'm feeling good. Okay. I need to figure out what other projects to do before Brooke and I have some errands to run and then uh, a potential date night. I just took Max for a little walk around the neighborhood. It's very fun to explore all the new houses. I saw this um, orange tree a few blocks away that was stunning. And now I really want a tangerine tree or a lemon tree or something like that. I thought it would be fun to show you a little bit of the kitchen organization that I got done, like where I decided to put things. There's one cabinet in particular that I love. <laughs> it's just very cute. So this is one of my favorite cabinets. It's all stuff that I don't really use often, but it's all of our kind of pretty stuff. So we have our big fancy red wine glasses, white wine glasses, beer glasses. These are the thrifted things, little coops that I love. And then like our nicer anthropology dishware. I'm probably am gonna just center those bowls. This one is everyday drinkware. I can, I might get a few more of these tall glasses because we've broken so many and they're from Ikea. So they're really, really cheap, but we have kind of drinking glasses and then like more commonly used cocktail glasses and then like tumblers basically. My cute little picnic basket up there. This is all coffee above our coffee station. So this is all of the uniform mugs, my more unique mugs, and then coffee supplies like our French press, our coffee ground, and we have a little carafe for the Nespresso. This is our everyday plates and I put it above the dishwasher because it's most easy to unload. So we have, finally, we don't have to stack our small plates on top of our big plates or our bowls on top of our plates. We have the space to spread it all out, which is so nice. So big plates, small plates, bowls, and then little tiny dishes that I actually use quite often for like dipping, a little berry bowl, and then our crock pot at the top. Here is our spice drawer, which has been so nice. I need to get a smaller salt because this can't stand up, but I use, put all the spices we use often here, less often down here. And then I have like some matcha supplies and coffee supplies and stuff there. This little corner is mostly, we have some of the big food storage, cake pans, and then small appliances like our blender and our little um, immersion blender. This we use much more often. This is all of our mixing bowls, colander, and then I don't use the stuff down here as often, but the hard thing has been all the little kitchen utensils, like this kind of thing, because there's not a lot of shallow drawers. So like whisks and microplanes and stuff that we don't use as often, I just went ahead and put in that little container in here. But things that we use a little more often, I got this actually at Office Depot of all places. So I have our wooden things here, non-wooden things here. Then this, chip clips, rubber bands, things like that. Silverware, straws, a couple measuring things, can opener. So that's like what we use most frequently. Here we have pots and pans. I wanna organize this better and I wanna get rid of some of these and get more like this because this one's way better. And then down here we have baking sheets, some food storage and cutting boards. It's kind of a little bit of a mess. And then of course, pantry. I have snacks, canned goods, baking stuff, dog food and like Ziploc type bags. And then this is all kind of random. So we have a little bit of human food, dog treats, and then it just gets more random and then um, like excess cleaning supplies and paper goods. I get really excited about organizing cabinets and stuff. And so I was like, I don't know, maybe they would enjoy seeing that. There's still some room for progress. I'll probably move things around more once we live here more and figure out like what we use the most, what we need access to, all that kind of stuff. Guess what finally got here? Let me grab them, just a second. Our blinds, finally. So I'm really nervous because I was the one that measured these and they're like custom made. I'm really nervous that they're not gonna fit, but I also don't know when we're gonna install them because maybe Sunday. I wanted to do it on a vlog, but Brooke's golfing all day tomorrow. It's gonna film another video Sunday, uh, I don't know. So hard when I don't have the next two weeks to do things, but we just spent a little bit of time setting up part of Brooke's office. Finally found a layout he liked. I showed y'all in a different vlog and we got him a media console. So he's gonna keep his gaming system inside that. He hung up his TV. Um, now all that's really left is art. I don't think he wants any other furniture in there. And we were looking to see if we could go have an actual date night on a patio because we haven't done that in months. But I guess everybody's excited to be allowed to dine on patios again because every restaurant is fully booked up. <laughs> so I was actually excited to see 
my old restaurant that I worked at, True Food Kitchen, is now on Postmates. They used to only be on like DoorDash or Grubhub or one of the apps that I don't ever use. And they're on Postmates now. And so I ordered my favorite pizza, which is the butternut squash pizza, sub gluten-free crust, Pro tip, it's really good if you add mushroom and jalapeno, but they don't let you do that on the Postmate app. And now they have vegan gluten-free chocolate chip cookies. So egg-free, gluten-free. I don't know when they came out with that, but I ordered two cookies and I'm really excited. We've been watching Ted Lasso. Brooke's already seen it. He was like, you need to watch it. I'll watch it with you and it's so good. So I'm actually excited to have True Food at home and watch Ted Lasso tonight. I'll insert a little video clip of our True Food meal here so that you can see it, but otherwise I'm gonna go ahead and end the vlog. So so that I can get it edited before our dinner and date night gets here. I love y'all so very much. Thank you for hanging out with me on another home vlog. Thank you for your patience while I've been putting out less videos due to everything going on and while all of my videos have been very casual vlogs like this, which I love. They're way more fun for me to make than anything else, so I'd love to know your thoughts as well, but I hope you have the best rest of your day and I will see you in a video very soon. Bye. So give me a sign. Give me a sign, oh, give me a sign, baby, give me a sign, just give me one more, talking to you, here we go again, staying up all night to see if you've been texting me, where do we go from here, I wanna go all